uh, Coach Leipold said similarly that, you know, Iowa State is a program that they're looking to emulate. What do you think of, you know, hearing something like that, and what does it kind of mean to you, again, as he says something like that about you guys here? Yeah, I, I, I think, again, you know, I think for Coach Leipold and myself, I think we both have come up a very similar way, and I appreciate him saying that. I, I think the, the reality is, you know, certainly his path and our path here, our staff's path, it's very similar. I mean, we're, we're Division three coaches. We've worked our way up from the ground up. Not many people can emulate what we do um, because we didn't. they haven't gone through the journey that we've gone through. And so, you know, I think that's why we knew they would have great success, you know, and, and you know, they have done a great job already. Um, and it's not this, what we do is not rocket science. So, you know, I, I think it takes the right people to align programs the right way. And I think they have a very similar background and a very similar pattern to what we have had in our journey. So um, again, I think there's a lot of respect between both programs. For Kansas particularly, I think, well, I know Kansas was still roster-wise a little bit reeling because of the whole Weiss situation. The NCAA rule, the change of the rules, how, is Can how do you think that's benefited Kansas? You know, more scholarships, um, um, the whole portal thing, they've got, what, 19 depth chart guys yeah. out of the portal. I mean, yeah, I, 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 that's a great question. I, I think obviously, boy, we can look around college football and, and know how teams reshape their roster this year, right? I mean, you saw teams, I'm not going to name the teams, but totally reshape a, a entire program. So, um, you know, it, it just, it is what it is. It's the new age of, of college athletics. And, you know, I, I think anytime you can certainly get your team back to 85 scholarships immediately, I, that's a benefit you know it's something we had to work through for the first three years here you know we weren't at a full 85 until our third season so you know that that's a challenge it's unique but um, you know I think anytime you can have 85 scholarship players in your program to start fall camp you know obviously that is something that is a, a huge positive for anybody building a team how do you approach your guys's preparation for Kansas's run game I, you know, obviously it, you're going to have to do a great job in terms of being alignment and assignment sound. You know, I, I think one of the things that is positive for us is there were things from Saturday that we didn't do very well. And it started with kind of our discipline of our eyes. And, you know, I, I think this group is going to challenge every facet of that. You know, I, I think what they do pre-snap to what they do post-snap is they constantly put your eyes and your discipline in con conflict. And, you know, we're just going to have to do a great job of doing that. You know, the growth from last week to this week for us is going to have to be critical for our success. Matt Daniels, their quarterback, since he became the starter, he seems to personify winning. How would you describe what, what, what he's about? You know, it's funny you say that, Rob, because I, I, I said to, I think, our staff this morning, one of the things that's probably so impressive about him is you look at him and you're like, man, I want to be around that kid. You know, as a coach and as a opposing coach, you know, I think how he carries himself, how he plays the game, um, you just have a real appreciation for him. You can tell the kids believe in him. He believes in him. He's having fun playing. Um, and, and I think, again, the credit there has to go a little bit to, man, you do a great job of putting your players in position to be successful. I talk about that all the time in our program, right? Players, formations, plays. And I, I think that's what you see is you see a young man that has certainly has talent and he's being put in great position to use his talent and he's enjoying playing the game and he's putting his team in great position to have success. What have you seen out of Kansas as uh, Jalen Daniels? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I think very similar to, to a little bit of just what I talked about. You know, I, I think uh, a guy that's extremely confident, uh, you know, a young man that has got elite athleticism, his ability to to really challenge you every time the ball is in his hand. And, you know, as soon as you think, man, he's just going to be a runner, um, you, you know, you'd be false. I, what is he, 19 for 23 last week and his efficiency to make you pay in the passing game and, and has done a great job of it. So, uh, again, to me, just a, a very confident football player and a guy that can challenge you every single time the ball's in his hands. And then compared to the past years of Kansas teams, what sticks out to you differently about this team that they might not have had? Yeah, I, I don't think, you know, to me, 
it, it, it's hard to kind of quantify where it was, but you know, I think again, I, I, you saw this coming. You know, I, you know, we played them last year, and man, you saw a really good football team on the verge of be, becoming really good. You know, and all the pieces, tailbacks, offensive linemen, tight ends. You know, you saw some of the guys on the defensive side of the football, and I think most of those guys that we played against a year ago are all back. Um, and you know, you, you see a, a group that was really kind of getting put in place. And you know, I know for Coach Leipold, it was hard because he got there late, um, and you saw that group kind of evolve. And then by the end of the football season, man, you know, obviously they have a big win on the road at the end of the season, and, and I think just a, a group that was continuing to be put in place to be very successful. Kansas has only given up one sack, I believe. Um, what what do they do that's that's allowing that? Well, I, I think the biggest thing, and, and we hit on this a little bit Saturday, is you know they have played pretty much in rhythm to how they would want to play the football game. You know, I, I think um, number one. I think they get rid of the ball with great efficiency. The ball's getting out of his hands. It's not a lot of drop back passing. Man, it is quick. Get the ball out of his hands. Get the ball in space. Um, you know, I think, uh, again, they've played from ahead uh, a lot. I know the West Virginia game, they were down, but quickly got themselves back ahead in that football game. And I think that certainly helps you play in a system where, you know, you're kind of put the, put the game and the flow of the game in your hands, not um, in situations where you got to sit back there and hold the football for a long period period of time.